a very good morning to all of you this is second video for the same unit motion so today we are going to start the new topic that is speed the distance traveled by a moving object per unit time is expressed by a quantity which is known as what speed a speed of an object tells us how fast the object moves so how can we define speed speed is defined as distance traveled by the body per unit time that is mathematically we can write speed is equal to distance by time in the form of symbol v is equal to s by t the si unit of speed is meter per second speed is a scalar quantity as it has only magnitude and no direction there are some other unit to measure speed also which is known as non si unit like for example we can measure the speed in kilometer per hour or we can measure the speed in centimeter per second moving ahead we will know the different types of speed the first one is uniform speed or constant speed if a moving body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time then the speed of the body is said to be uniform this we can understand by one example which is shown here in this figure the distance covered by the ball in the first second 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 and the third second is the same and that is 10 meter so what we conclude that the ball covers 10 meter in each second along a straight line so its speed is uniform speed second type of speed is non uniform or variable speed if a body covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time then the speed of body is said to be non uniform or variable this we can understand with the given figure in this a car travels 5 meter in the first second 10 meter in second second and in third second it covers 7 meter and fourth second 9 meter then in this case the speed of car is changing so it is said to be non uniform moving ahead we will know average speed average speed is very important based on this we will be solving several numerical problems also average speed of a moving body is defined as the ratio of the total distance traveled by it to the total time taken that is mathematically we can write average speed is equal to total distance moved by total time taken to clear the concept of average speed i will consider one example in this an object travels 16 meter in 4 second and then another 16 meter in 2 second and we are supposed to calculate its average speed for its solution let us try to understand total distance traveled is 16 meter plus 16 meter that is equal to 32 meters and what is the total time taken 4 second plus 2 second that is 6 second using the formula of average speed we can write average speed is equal to total distance traveled by total time taken and what is the total distance 32 meter and what is total time 6 second which will give us on calculating 5.33 meter per second so we will write the average speed of the object is 5.33 meter per second moving ahead we will know instantaneous speed the speed of an object at any instant 
during its motion is called instantaneous speed as we know a meter fitted on the dashboard of a vehicle which is called speedometer it indicates the instantaneous speed of the vehicle that is it shows the speed of the vehicle but it is in kilometer per hour at that instant moving ahead we will know the velocity now the next physical quantity velocity that is speed with direction velocity of an object is defined as the displacement of the body per unit time mathematically it is given as velocity is equal to displacement by time or v is equal to s by t but you can see since it is a vector quantity so i have put arrow mark over v and s the si unit of velocity and speed is the same that is meter per second whereas the velocity is a vector quantity as it has magnitude as well as direction next to it the different types of velocity the first one we will take uniform velocity or constant velocity velocity of an object is said to be uniform if it covers equal displacement that is equal distances in a particular direction in equal intervals of time as it is shown here in this figure a car moves over a horizontal straight road let it covers 30 km in each hour then this shows the displacement of the car in each hour is equal and the velocity of the car is uniform next we have non uniform velocity or variable velocity velocity of an object is said to be non uniform or variable if it covers unequal displacements that is unequal distances in a particular direction in equal intervals of time for this also we have one figure and here in this figure a car moves over a horizontal road and let it covers unequal distances in each hour as shown so the velocity of this car is non uniform or variable moving ahead we have average velocity it is defined as the ratio of total displacement of a body divided by the total time taken by it mathematically we have average velocity is equal to total displacement of the body by total time taken now we will know how the velocity change takes place so velocity of a body can be changed by either of these three methods first one by changing the speed of the body while keeping the direction of the motion of the body same or by changing the direction of motion of the body but keeping the speed of the body same or by changing both speed and direction of the motion of the body one more thing here to note is if the velocity of an object changes at a uniform rate that is in equal amount in equal intervals of time in a particular direction then the average velocity of the object is equal to the mean of the initial and the final velocity of the object so in this case mathematically we can write average velocity is equal to u plus v by 2 where u represents the initial velocity of the object and v represents the final velocity of the object now we will take one example to understand this in this example mr a swims 
in a 90 meter long pool he covers 180 meter in one minute by swimming from one end to the other and back along the same straight path we are supposed to find the average speed and the average velocity of mr a now let us start the solution total distance covered in first minute is equal to 180 meter and the displacement of mr a in one minute is 0 meter as mr a goes from one end to the other and back along the same straight path at the same initial point from the formula of average speed we can write average speed is equal to total distance covered by total time taken and what is the total distance covered here 180 meter and time 1 minute so we will write 180 by 1 minute this 1 minute should be converted in second because the SI unit is meter per second and so finally we have 3 meter per second. What about average velocity? Average velocity is equal to displacement by total time taken. And what is the displacement? It is 0 meter. As the person started from a point and returned back to the same point. So displacement is 0 meter. Therefore 0 divided by 60 seconds which gives us the average velocity as 0 meter per second. This is the end for the today. Thank you.